I would like to thank the American College of Cardiology for the opportunity to present our work today. I'm Anna Veles, and I will be presenting our study on outcomes in patients with chronic kidney disease who undergo coronary artery bypass grafting with multiple arterial grafts. Evidence shows that the use of multiple arterial grafts improves outcomes compared to the single arterial grafts, but it is unclear whether the use of multiple arterial grafts confers similar benefits in patients with chronic kidney disease. We examined 1,176 patients with chronic kidney disease, stage three or greater, which corresponds to a GFR of less than 60. We estimated the GFR using preoperative creatinine and the CKD equation, which is a recommended method by the National Kidney Foundation. Our cohort consisted in patients undergoing cabbage with or without a valve procedure at the Johns Hopkins Hospital between 2008 and 2020, and we used the STS database. We excluded patients on dialysis and divided the cohort by the type of artery they received, multiple versus single. Our primary outcome of interest was a composite outcome of 30-day mortality, early hospital readmission, reoperation for bleeding, post-operative stroke, renal failure, and cardiac arrest. We looked at patients' characteristics that could be associated with the primary outcome in the entire cohort. We also did propensity score matching to account for baseline patient characteristics that were different between groups, such as age, diabetes, GFR, and history of cerebrovascular disease. Finally, we compared the incidence of the individual outcomes in both groups. Our cohort consisted in 1,176 patients. 1,031 received single artery and 145 got multiple. Out of those who got multiple arterial grafts, 111 got bilateral internal mammary arteries, 30 had one radial and one internal mammary artery, and four got triple arteries. The majority of our cohort had chronic kidney disease stage 3A, were male, had hypertension, dyslipidemia, and the most common surgery was isolated cabbage. We found that a history of cerebrovascular disease and emergent or urgent status of surgery increased the risk of the primary composite outcome, whereas a higher GFR decreased the risk. And interestingly, multiple arterial graft use at the time of surgery was not found to be associated with the primary composite outcome. After propensity score matching, we had 84 match pairs with no significant differences in patient's characteristics between groups. We found that patients who received multiple arterial grafts had decreased incidence of post-operative stroke and renal failure compared to those who received just one artery. We hope that these findings will encourage others to consider the benefits of multiple arterial grafts in patients with chronic kidney disease. Further research is still needed in order to determine the short and long-term benefits of multiple arterial grafts in patients with chronic kidney disease. Thank you.